As the amazing Satguru Shankaracharya says, your life is an arrow and your target is your intention or your vision. What is the vision of your life? What is the intention of your life? In today's video, I'm gonna be guiding you through a process of clarifying your vision statement because without a very clear vision, the target that our life arrow is pointing towards is literally never going to reach what your soul is calling you towards unless you have a very clear target. So many people in our world right now are lost and depressed and addicted to so many different things. Without knowing your values, what you stand for, what your life stands for, being whipped around and never actually reaching a target that feels meaningful and empowered for you is the inevitable result. So pen and paper, are you ready? Because we're going to create your vision statement today. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. So pause here, light a candle, put on some music. I would love to see your life shoot in the direction of what was planted in your soul. What I mean by this is you, just like this tree or the birds, every single flower, all of nature, including you, has a very unique expression. However, if we don't have a clear vision that's tapped into our soul, we often create what we were taught we were supposed to create. So the shoulds of our society, the shoulds of your parents or what your parents and teachers growing up expected of you. So today we're moving from expectation into liberation, okay? Liberating that gold inside of you so that you can be the one you have been inspired to be. So grab a pen and my first question to you, which is really the core of what a vision statement is about, especially a soul-centered vision statement is, what do you and your life stand for? What do you and your life stand for? Right now, I'm standing for you. <laughs> Even with the horn honking and the drill and the basketball playing, like all this noise came about. If I didn't know my clear vision right now in this moment is to share this powerful and essential video with you, I would just quit, right? And I'd be like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. As long as you're clear about your purpose, every action, you can filter, is this gonna bring me towards my target or is it off target? As we go deeper, the questions I'm gonna be asking you are gonna pull you out of your comfort zone a bit, okay? They're gonna expand you into your soul's calling. They're going to expand you beyond your limited belief systems and anything you think you're supposed to be in this world, okay? So are you ready? This is the core essence of your vision statement. What do you and your life stand for? What do you and your life stand for? What are your values? What matters to you? What's important to you? Hit pause and just answer these questions. Think of this as a first date with your soul. Think of this as like the most exciting moment that you're actually crafting and painting a picture of the target that from here forward, you're choosing your, your life to shoot in the direction of. Now I'm gonna ask you three questions, and these are basically the bulk of what's gonna go into your vision statement, okay? What's gonna go into, you can think of it as an affirmation or an intention or a declaration that you're gonna post on your wall somewhere and say it daily and connect with it and feel the vibration of it. First question, who are you called to be? Who are you called to be? Don't answer from here, just trust and free form right. Answer these questions in the flow, like really feel into your body. Who am I called to be and go wild with it? Second question, what are you called to do? What are you called to do? Rumi says, let the beauty you love be what you do. Let the, let the beauty you love be what you do. What are you called to do? Third question, what are you called to create and have? What are you called to have in this world? I know for me, I'm living it. I'm in Ojai, I have a beautiful life, and I have a vision of retreat center in Mendocino, California. So it's like really getting clear on that vision and letting it ignite you. Let it, what do you choose to create? What do you choose to have? And hit pause, go deep, feel it, enjoy it, love it. Put the music onto the page because your vision is your music, okay? It's your song. It's what you're here to sing in this world. The fourth question, why does this vision matter to you? Why does this vision matter to you? The fifth question, 
What do you need to release or give up in order to actualize your vision? What do you need to release or give up in order to actualize your vision? So fear of rejection is an example, avoiding pain. For me, I remember it being people pleasing. I still have that tendency sometimes. Wanting to look good, Have I mean, I basically had all of these, right? Being in control, fear of failure, perfectionism, procrastination, like get honest and put your hand up and say, yeah, that's what's been holding me back. Once you're clear on what's in the way or what those outdated patterns are, you're shining the light on it and you can choose differently. And there's obviously deeper work there, which is what the diamond process is for, for any kind of shadow work. But today we're just creating your vision statement and it's important to get clear on what has been in the way. Like, what are you afraid of that if you go out there and live this beautiful big vision, you're living your target. Ooh, this could happen, right? Get very honest about that. Final question. What new skill, character traits, and leadership qualities do you need to develop in order to bring your vision to life? Okay, this is a really important question. Personally, last year I had this where I had a character trait of really being afraid of coming off as bossy and the people pleaser was like taking over my life. In order to master enrollment as a coach, which is essential to be a successful coach, you have to be masterful at the enrollment conversation, which I make and will be making other videos about. Make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter. I was afraid of being judged as pushy. So I was, I was really addicted to people pleasing. So what I actually needed to develop last year was a deep clarity in my authority a deep willingness to be free to guide someone without holding back, knowing that what I'm here to give is medicine, right? So in order to take your vision into manifestation, there are certain qualities, certain muscles that you're here to develop. Get very clear on this question. What is that for you? What character traits, new skills, and leadership qualities do you need to develop in order to bring your vision to life? I hope that you love these questions and that they guide you into a solid statement. It could be one sentence. It could be a small paragraph. Really get clear on what you stand for and what your life stands for. You know, an example is I stand for self-care. I stand for radical self-acceptance and I stand for serving or being of service making this world better from the overflow rather than the crazy pants depletion that so many people are living so what is your stand in life and where is your arrow headed in other words where are you headed please do let me know in the comments i would love to hear your vision statement i hope that this serves you if you like this topic please do give it a thumbs up and if you want to go deeper into your vision jason and i have created something over the last few months quietly with 15 extraordinary experts, Gay and Katie Hendricks. I mean, they've written 40 books. They've been on Oprah. They published The Big Leap. You know, that book transformed my life. Leonard Jacobson, Maya Fiennes, Gurish, Daron Liebstein from the Mentors Channel. Just think of like the t Val Solitiker. Uh, my God, it just goes on and on. Deborah Sp uh, Spillman. There's so many incredible beings that we together have joined hands to support you in getting crystal clear on your vision and having the willpower to move forward on that vision. It's called Uncover Your Calling. It's a 10-day vision quest. It starts March 6th and it's totally free. So go to the link below, or go to uncoveryourcallingnow.com and we will see you in this amazing adventure into revealing the true gold that you, my friend, are here to shine into our world. Thank you.